Okay, so we had the craziest run ever, and I forgot to record. What a classic. So the VOD had music in it, and unfortunately, YouTube doesn't like that. So I'm commentating over this run. My pre-pot includes a heart, and I sip a Menophyte just to break the Divine effect. So the heart actually ticks down. As long as you have over plus three boost, I do one-shot the Berserkers with three-way mage. So that's the idea with that. If you watch the other run, the only change in this run is that I'm using a Bulwark instead of that piece of meat. Bulwark gives me a lot of survivability in the light waves, and in a, in a couple cases, it's better DPS than claw spec. I've also got a new start tile where I can always reach the mage without losing any ticks. This was really, really fast. This is actually basically as fast as this wave could go. I just two-shot that mage. 14.4 is beautiful. One of the things I've started doing as well is locking Frailty. Frailty gives me a lot more options for invocations. It's a bit faster than taking something like Quartet or Duo, where it's like adding spawns. So Frailty is just a better choice overall, even though it's a lot harder to complete a run with. So here I've got a really obvious Venator setup. Bring that mage down the side and Venator. The main idea with Venator is it's 35% more DPS, as long as you get a triple Ricochet. And I need the mage on either the west side of a target or the, sea, or the south side of a target. So that's what I was going for there. So I think both of these to kill him. Beautiful. I'm pretty low health at this point, though. I missed the ult or switch, so we don't kill this pain. Lost like five seconds to that. So here I've got the choice of Quartet, but I don't take it. Because Quartet is a big time loss. Okay, this is a really good spawn. Got the mage in the back there, so I take no damage. I'm trying to get some health back by Scything. So Scythe is my second best option versus Benedict bow shots. But here I've just, I definitely need some health. And it's looking like the Blood Fury is just not gonna give it to me, unfortunate. But the goal here was get some health. Unfortunate misclick and it's a zero, it's winnable. And here I don't wanna lose damage. I literally just tank that mage just to get another hit in and start Benedicting it. That step out diagonally off ticks the mage, so he's one tick slower. Also, this was super awkward, but they just happened off tick. There we go. A little awkward, but we're living. So here I want to start Venadoring the Jaguar as well. Basically, any run where I'm going for now, I need a wave 2 skip and a wave 4 skip. The reinforcements always come in at second 40. So you can see my wave 2 time is 39. If it was two ticks slower, it actually would have spawned. So with this wave, again, I'm going to have to kill both targets before 40 seconds or it's a reset. Flare is a beautiful, beautiful invocation to take there. And back up here to off tick. Yep, I'm going to time it out. See that diagonal tile. The mage comes out a tick later. Syncs up perfectly with the manticore. So that's off tick there. And I've seen better Venator shots. It's looking a little dicey. 59 is pretty nice. I'm kind of looking at my time here like, okay, we're getting a little bit close. Get the claws in place. Happen to kill the Manticore there. Beautiful. And we get it pretty easily. So Venator definitely came through. And Max Claw helped as well. I'm going to Divine here. And I'm going to actually Redempt to get some health back. So those are just free, no health Divines. The prayer is a little bit tight. I basically have exactly what I need for a run. I found this new strategy with the mage where I can step out with an L. Actually, there's a manticore, so we're just going to bend her down anyways. But I could have stepped out with an L and started T-bowing that mage if I needed to. Scything here for health. Basically, anytime I'm scything, I'm trying to get some health back. So I want to be careful with the reinforcements here. It can get you killed. I'm deciding to go on the more dangerous side. It's okay. As soon as the reinforcements spawn, the Jaguar is going to come around. So I'm actually noticing this now. I'm going to actually move to the safer side now that they're spawning. So that's the idea there. And I can just keep Benadurin. Nice thing is it ricochets all the way up there, which is beautiful. I'm getting ready to rotate when something dies. Nothing did. Blowpipe on a 1 HP target, save some ticks. That's the whole reason I have Blowpipe, it's just for low HP targets. Just kill them really quickly. And we're going to scythe this. I'm going to move that Jaguar in position. Just kidding, the Manticore's dead in one hit, and the Jaguar's dead in one hit. Okay. A 110 wave 5 is absurd. That That's probably the fastest I've ever had by about 10 seconds, that wave. 
absolutely crazy wave. Okay, taking a mage hit. 11's not too bad. Trying to pray against him until they get closer. Venator ricochet off an archer is actually still slightly better than scything, so can abuse that a little bit. And I can Venator that Mantric War. Just trying to get him dead. Blowpipe into Venator. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting ready to SGS this Archer. I just realized my sword is in the wrong spot. I'm going to Scythe for one hit, and then I'll swap back into Venator. Just kidding, we're setting this up. I've got the off tick. I'm looking for a target being within one or two ticks of the Manticore attacking or, like, after it. So, like, that's my gap to know I'm off ticked. I know they're off ticked here, and we're good. I can also shoot this Jaguar here. With Venator, you want to shoot the higher health target so you can Venator longer. In this case, it's the Jaguar. I don't know how low this mage is. This really sucked, I remember. Yeah, I lost like three ticks there, just standing there. I thought it was one HP. Then I realized it wasn't, and my brain kind of shut off. <laughs> really good Tebow shots, though. Yep, pipe it. Thrall finish with overkill. Not bad. That was a very fast wave six, even. So now I'm freaking out a little bit. 516 to wave 7 is the fastest I've had by about 20 seconds. So I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. What I've started doing here with the Bulwark is I start in melee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast at the Berserker and then flick on Bulwark while praying Mage. So it makes it so I'm very, very tanky for that one off prey I've got to take. But I notice I have a, a radius marker on the mage that's far away, and I know he wasn't in range, so I can just actually avoid all damage. Flick everything, Tebow shots, beautiful, everything's off ticked. Typically on these waves, I'm trying to kill the thing that's next to where the Minotaur spawns because it heals them. So I need to put damage into the thing that it's going to heal immediately first as a priority. Now I'm going to start damaging these. These don't immediately get healed by the Minotaur if I play correctly. So if I just stood there, like attacking these, the Minotaur would come up and heal them. But I'm watching my respawn timer here, and I know the Minotaur is coming now. I'm going to go to the heal block tile, and he actually never gets line of sight on this tile of those targets. So I'm going to get ready in place with a, with a Tebow shot just to block that heal. Very, very fast, and my hits are just, they're just crazy. They're just crazy. I Tebow to 75, I think. Actually nuts. Yep, we've we've cracked out the pacing alert. That's how you know. <laughs> yeah, Scythe's given up a little bit. So I'm going to start popping Divines. Um, I'm full health, so I'm just kind of hoping that my Blood Fury just gives me the health back that the Divines would take. No reason not to go for it. Yeah, basically back to full health. Got 15 extra health out of it. Yep, I take frailty too here. That's always scary. That puts us at 80 health. Same thing on this wave. I'm going to start in melee armor and flick on bulwark. You'll see I'll take no damage. Just completely free. Boom, zero. We love that. Try not to lose ticks here. Get a scythe in, then kill the mage. So now I've got a kind of disgusting stack. I gotta kind of figure out this. I'm gonna just kill this and then figure it out. So I step Diag. That lets the Ranger see me first. I'm gonna claw this, trying to kill it. And I actually did. So this was a little awkward. I had to sit here waiting for them to pull up, unfortunately. A lot of time lost here. That's at least a full scythe gone. Maybe, maybe one and a half scythes lost. So here I know I'm not gonna kill them before the Minotaur spawns, but the Minotaur has some kind of cap. I think it's about 20% of their health that it can heal. So if you just chip them each a little bit, it actually doesn't heal them at all. So I just did a side swing on each just for some extra damage and the Minotaur doesn't heal them at all. Very, very nice. These have been very, very clean late waves. Minotaur's dying pretty fast. 
Oh, they're not on the right tank. Back up. <laughs> uh, it's probably another scythe and a half or so. That's kind of painful. Maybe, I don't know, nine seconds lost this wave to misplay. Unlucky. What I try to do is keep the... The archer max is one, if you don't know. So I try to keep the archer around until the end and try to kill them both at the same time. Then it's basically zero time loss. And I've actually clicked the wrong one there. Unfortunate. Potentially could have saved three seconds. I've got the safe choice of duo here or frailty three. And uh, you know we don't take the safe choice. The safe, slow choice? No, 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 no. We cap our health at 60. That's what we're doing. Oh, yes. So luckily, wave 9 and 10 are fairly easy. There's no mages. So I can start in ranged gear. Getting my shot off immediately. Oh, that Berserker's alive. So now I'm banking on Thrall killing these at this point, And sometimes it just doesn't. And I'll just target it with Venator if it happens to live. And that'll kill it. And again... Priority is kill the thing next to where the Minotaur spawns. So I'm going to move over to the ranged Colossus. Try not to lose ticks with this orb. It's kind of working. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. He's spawning in five seconds. I have to kill this here. Luckily, a Scythe comes through. Can move over to the other Manticore. And you'll see he starts spawning. Yeah, we can just kill the, Man the Minotaur now. I'm talking about how my run is getting a little bit low. You can actually regenerate run energy between waves if you need to, so I'm probably going to do that. Bulwark here, slightly better than a claw because it kills the archer, but uh, I took some damage for it. Probably wasn't worth it. It's actually very close to a claw, so... Okay, yeah. Run energy is quite low. So we probably wait just a second to get it back. Again, safe choice is duo, but duo wastes time. So we're not taking that. We're taking re-entry. Re-entry is really hard to deal with. But I'm going to risk it. Oh, yeah. I took a pee break. I took a pee break to get run energy back. That was the play. It was actually tech. <laughs> Oh, we're back. We have run energy and no more P. Perfect. Okay, we're going to be going into this wave with super low health. Yep, 35 health in the wave 10. Okay. We will see how this goes. Luckily, there's no mages, so... But the re-entry is pretty, uh, pretty scary. The Rangers do a throw every four hits, so he's going to do a throw the very next attack. Actually, I don't think he got the hit off, so I think it's after the attack after next. We'll work there. Barely better than a claw. We'll take it, though. I'm trying to be careful with my tosses because I have re-entry. And I'm also trying to kill this Manticore before the Minotaur spawns, but the Scythe is starting to give up. Okay, it's coming back. Okay, do damage here. Get ready for the Minotaur. I knew he was going to throw there, and I'm actually standing on that tile to block the mage, but I forgot the minotaur slots in there. So I'm going to have to kill the minotaur here. The heal is awkward as well because it puts the minotaur on cooldown, which actually made me tank a minotaur, which is a big chance. I think they max around 70, so yeah, slight chance there. I'm looking at ways to recover now, and I'm worried about this off tick. I can corner trap for a second before the orb gets there just to guarantee I get the off tick. That was the idea. And I know I'm very, very close to getting an SGS. I just need to survive until then. Yep, pop a quick Redempt. If you tank a zero below 10 health, you can actually pop Redemption with a protected attack. So now we've got a problem. Luckily, I just killed him. That works. <laughs> a little dicey. Reentry is a rough invocation. Okay, Thrall finished him saving time. Nice. 
And we actually basically are back to full health. Thank you, Blood Fury. A lot of times, if I know I'm completely safe, I'll try to wait on the SGS. I can SGS an Archer for about 40 health, but if Blood Fury is going to heal you anyways, no need. All right, big wave 11. Big wave 11. And the choice is re-entry too. Okay. I don't want to take Quartet because it's a time loss. We have one and a half sand fee for the rest of Coliseum. It's looking like it's going to be enough. Starting melee for the defense. And we're going to swap to Bulwark after casting. Actually, that archer's way over there, so I don't even take the hit. This is a, a magical spawn. You love to see a mage next to you, and just a mage, no stack? Oh, man. I'm even saying it right now. Great spawn. This is humble. But we still got the priorities. Got to kill the Manticore first. I want to kill that thing before the Minotaur spawns. I'm worried about re-entry here. Yep, I even tank. I, I waste a few ticks there just to make sure I don't put uh, re-entry on the bad tile. Definitely was the play there. Lose a little bit of time to make it so that we don't die. <laughs> and again, I'm trying to block the mage there, but it didn't quite work out. That's okay. You can actually safely attack the Minotaur from down here, so we're good. Now I just got to nail an off tick. Should be no big deal. I just force it by turning the corner. That works. And we're just going to TB that mage down. Should be dead. Yep, Tebow the Manticore once. Tebow's actually very, very close to Scything. It's only about 8% worse usually. I'm incredibly nervous at this point. <laughs> I'm shaking a little bit. Everything's looking good. I can tell this is absurd. 77 sight there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yep, try to finish both. Didn't work out. That's okay. I sit my divine to see if I can get a tiny bit of health first. I got four health back. Nice. Right before the boss. Beautiful. 14, 12, entry to the boss. Okay. To say I'm nervous is a, a bit of an understatement here. The clear take is volatility. We don't have quartet is what I'm saying here. So we don't have to worry about the, uh, the Fremnik at the beginning. I have 60 maximum health, no brew, three doses of sand few, a GL. Any Hammerlanders? No. No Hammerlanders. So sad. And we tank almost the first hit. I am beyond nervous. That's okay. Blood Fury is OP. I'm being as careful as I possibly can. I am saying out loud every single attack just to make sure <laughs> we do not mess something up. Oh, the perfect parry for a little bit of a max scythe angle there. Yeah, we take that. Not bad. Scary laser. Those lasers do just straight up one shot me at this point. Worried about the shield? Do a quick cheeky L. All right. Oh, look at these lasers. It's like a cross stitch. What is that? <laughs> and we nail it. Beautiful. You think you could throw in uh, one more perfect pay for me there, Mr. Soul? Maybe one more. Oh, nasty lasers. Oh, perfectly timed. Okay. Oh, you throw in one more. Okay. Don't mind if I do one more 87. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm just repeating out loud. <laughs> and I actually get it wrong. <laughs> I'm so nervous. This, these puddles of creep are so bad. Oh, please. What is that? Oh my fucking God, dude. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so we got the absurd run, the crazy RNG. What are we doing now? Um, I don't think sub 15 is feasible for Coliseum as it is currently without some changes. Around 1530, I think is roughly the limit for how fast we can go in Coliseum at this point. I will be going for a sub 16 in the future, but for now, this is... This would require absurd luck to beat. This was one of the best runs I've ever had. Everything just kind of lined up. All the waves were great RNG. The times on wave 11 being 158, just absurd. Usually it's around a two and a half minute wave. So 515 to wave seven. I don't know. Everything was just kind of perfect. This is very, very difficult to beat. The boss could have been a little faster. Uh, I did miss that hammer losing roughly 10 seconds. So... And then I had the misplay on one of the waves, which is around 10 seconds lost. This could have been a 1550 with a good boss and better play on that one wave, I guess. But anything much below 1530, I think, is not happening. If you do want to catch these runs live, I have been streaming on Twitch and YouTube for two hours and then moving over to Kick. I did take a deal with them. So if you're wondering where I've been, that's where I've been. I've been streaming a ton of ton of hours. So if you're wondering where I'm at, probably live on Kick. And that's it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it and or subscribe. Thanks, guys.